Hi everyone, how are you? My name is Danny. Welcome to Danny's Corner. Today I want to continue this topic about、uh, the comment that I read on the first video that was about biblical cosmology.、Uh, I want to say before I continue this video, and I should have said this、uh, on the other video, I'm not angry. If that's what you think that you heard on my first video, I've always said I understand that you guys may disagree with me on a lot of topics. That's fine with me. I'm totally fine debating with people, I'm totally fine with、uh, people disagreeing with me. That was not the issue here. The issue here is that.、Um, For whatever reason, people don't pay attention or choose not to pay attention because it's easier for them to ignore certain things. And this is what I felt. As I said before, this person could have saved him or herself a few minutes composing this. Novel like comment, if you will, if he would have heard or she would have heard the main thing I am speaking about Christianity from a totally blind person's perspective, which is different from a sighted person's perspective. A blind person, although Let's say I was an atheist. I would still have to believe something without the evidence of science. Does that make any sense? Now, just as I don't have any evidence, physical evidence, biblical physical evidence,、um, in the way that sighted people perceive that. I wouldn't have any evidence in science as a blind person for the stars, for the moon, etc. I'm not sure if I'm explaining myself. Let me say this other thing.、Um, before atheists and agnostics get into it. With、uh, Christians or any other person who might have any other spiritual beliefs, before you can engage in these t y p e of things, since you guys say you are critical thinkers and you are、um, guided by reason and so forth and so on, then let me make a suggestion stop writing books about something you don't believe in. To begin with, stop posting comments about something you don't believe in because, after all, it's a myth, which again, you guys don't believe in such a thing. It's fine. And come back to Earth and address the myths that you guys believe in, then. You guys say you don't believe in myths, but I. I, I beg to disagree with you. You, do guys, you guys do believe in myths. They may not be the spiritual kind of myths, but they're myths nevertheless. And they're about blind people. And this is what I would like to focus on. Since you brought up biblical cosmology, <laughs> I'm going to talk about blindness. Society, doesn't matter what background you come from, has a certain belief about totally blind people or blind people in general. For example, blind people see black. Is that scientifically proven? I bet it's not. And if it is, show it to me. Please, I'll be waiting. Do you know that we actually see black? Or is that your own perception? 
is that what you see when you close your eyes and you're just trying uh, to transfer that to us as if it was magic? You get what I'm saying? What else? Um, blindness equals darkness. Does it really? Again, is this scientifically proven? Have there been studies that you can cite just as you were able to cite your biblical cosmology stuff? Or are these things that atheists and other agnostics or people in general just don't care to figure out? The truth is that you don't know. The truth is that just as you claim that Christians are believing in a mythical God or gods, just as you believe that everything that Christians or any other spiritual uh, person says is pie in the sky, um, we could say the same thing about you, about the things that you believe about us who told you that we see darkness? Are you blind? Are one of your family members blind? I'm assuming they're not. So how can you speak about something that you know nothing about? And I'm speaking not directly to the person that made the comment, which I read on the first video. I'm speaking to people in general. Another question would be, um, I believe Christopher Hitchens said this. I'm going to leave uh, his quote in the uh, description or the comment uh, box. And I'm assuming that some, if not most, atheists and agnostics and even people that believe in some spiritual being or in spiritualism have the same thought process that blind people suffer that blind people live a uh, pretty sad life uh, that they are people that are helpless and hopeless that there's nothing to live for Yet, he didn't write a book on blindness to prove that what he was saying was true or not. Instead, he focused on a, quote, non-existing God with some made-up literature by people who probably didn't know what they were talking about. Again, these are the words that atheists use, not me. Instead of coming to earth and figuring out about us, real people, people that he can actually talk to, he could have talked to. He could have poured over uh, books and magazines and other scientific stuff to know how we think, how our brain processes things, etc. Yet he chooses, just like other folks, as I just said, choose to debate things that are not real? How does that make any sense? So you're claiming that we believe in myths, and perhaps we do. My whole point is, if we do, so do you. What's the difference? What makes us any smarter or any different than you? Nothing. I think the only difference, at least for me, 
is that I use the four senses that I have. Smell, touch, taste, and hearing. You, on the other hand, use your sight more. Therefore, you have probably diminished your other four senses. Perhaps that's why you chose to skip certain things that I said on that video. For example, when I talked about the eclipse. Just because you could see it, that meant it was true. You chose to skip the whole blindness issue, which I always talk about and didn't address that. See, it's really easy to cast aside that which is unimportant to someone. At least when I make these videos, I choose to speak about these things. And again, at least I tell you I don't know much about this topic. I don't know what you're talking about. If I'm able to understand it, I will talk about it and I will do my best to understand it. But if I don't, I'm not going to say a word. That's my view on things. So yeah, to end this video, we all have things that we believe in. Are they wrong? They could be. Are they right? They could be. Could they be a mystery? Absolutely. But you can't say that just because you are able to see something, then that all of a sudden it becomes true. No, it doesn't. Because what you're also saying, unbeknownst to you, you may not even thought about this, is those of us who are not able to see, those of us who are not able to hear, those of us who are not able to perceive something, we may not know what we're doing or talking about, as I said earlier, which is far from the truth. Just because we are not able to see doesn't mean that we lack understanding. Just because we can't see doesn't mean that we may not have critical thinking. Just because we believe in whatever ancient text doesn't mean that we don't research, we don't investigate. Here's a blind person talking to you who's using a computer you may assume somebody is perhaps helping him with this computer. Somebody perhaps is helping him set the equipment so he can record. Absolutely not. Come back to earth. And before studying spirituality, study about, study about people just like you. Believe me, there is a lot of literature out there. Things that you can actually prove scientifically and start believing. Um, this is why when it comes to um, atheism, um, they haven't proven to me that uh, they're free from, as I said before, that they're free from believing in lies and or myths. I wouldn't be too worried about debating them. When they say something about any religious group, there's always something that they're missing. And I just pointed that out to them. This is not to offend anyone. This was not to insult anyone. It's just the truth that some, if not most, atheists, agnostics, and as I said, 
even people who are spiritual miss. I will go on to um, read a lot of your comments. There's about 69 left. And I like to do this just so you know that I'm a real person. Nobody is helping me out. What you see is what you get. Or in this case, if you're blind, at least you're able to hear me. And you know that I'm a real person and not some synthesized voice and or robot that's speaking to you. Thank you very much. I hope you have enjoyed this video as well as the previous one. And thank you very much.